Jen Eden, founder of the Sugar Freedom Method. And today I'm going to talk to you about three tips for staying productive in the winter. Because if you're like any one of my clients or myself, don't you find that you're a little lethargic? Sometimes we have this thing which I don't believe in necessarily it being called seasonal disorder, but for sure we tend to feel sluggish and more tired in the winter. So I want to talk to you about that real quick. Okay, but before I do that, I always ask if you could please subscribe to my channel. If what I offer you is super valuable, I would love to stay connected. There's a button somewhere below my video and I would be most appreciative. Okay, so let's do it. Staying productive through the bleak winter months. So get this, and I know a lot of women don't necessarily put these two together, but I am going to. I found me buckled down in the winter months versus how can we have more fun, more joy. I know living here in Flagstaff, um, I've been working on playing as hard as I work. And what I've been finding is that I am so much more productive in my business when I've gone out, like I think it's Thursdays now I go out and I go ski with the husband for a few hours and then I come back and then I start working again. When we overwork, and say we got to get things done, yes, and slam it all in. I promise you, not only does our energy dip, but we almost feel resentful. We definitely feel sluggish. And when we get out, like I've been doing, oh my God, I love it. I actually come back with a renewed energy. And it is amazing how much I get done in a small amount of time. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, uh, I'm going to say it. It's probably not as exciting, but it's the truth. So we need to eat more fresh organic vegetables. I know it might be like, really Jen, to be more productive, but yes. See, vegetables give us energy and it feeds our brains and our brains, yes, are everything, right? They're what keep us productive, keep us happy, healthy, out of the hospital, away from things that we don't want to be doing. And so eating more fresh vegetables, organic, please, without the chemicals and the pesticides, is actually gonna give you more energy and it's gonna make you more productive and your mind is gonna be so juiced. Now, you can't do it like for one day. I always, I was talking to my son about it because he's been feeling tired and I'm like, Luke, I need you to eat more vegetables. He's like, mom, I eat a couple of more carrots. I'm like, no, 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 take some vitamins, get more sleep, but eat more vegetables and give yourself about a week of eating more vegetables. Now, I'll just share real, real quick. It doesn't mean you need to be cooking stuff up and sauteing. I don't really like to make the time to do that stuff. So what if, I mean, I shop at Whole Foods here in Flag. What if I buy cut up raw vegetables? I happen to love celery. I happen to love carrots. I happen to love peppers. And um, so I leave that stuff chopped up in the fridge and I will have that as a snack. I will have that with lunch. I will have that with dinner and um, if you're like, eh, I'm not too into that. I personally eat it with hummus. So me dipping that, it can be part of a meal or it can be a snack, but the fresh live food, the enzymes, the vitamins that are in vegetables are actually going to feed you. Okay. So take my word on that, eating fresh food over this processed stuff that takes energy out of our bodies is gonna change your life. Okay, and then number three, you may or may not know this, but our vitamin D levels drop in the winter, okay? We don't make vitamin D, um, we get it from the sun, and when the sun isn't out, for those who um, live, well, where I live in Flag, actually, it's actually pretty sunny, but the truth is we're not at the beach, we're not out a lot, yes, so even if it is sunny, we tend to be in the house a lot, it's very cold, and so we're not getting enough vitamin D. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and tell you how much to take. It is personal, but I will tell you what it says on the bottles is usually pretty good. I think I take 10,000 IUDs. Um, I need you to take a look at what would be appropriate. You can ask your doctor if you're not sure, but I'm gonna tell you now vitamin D levels drop and it absolutely affects our mood and our productivity levels. Now. I'm not a big fan of talking about brands, but you need to know that what is out there, there is so much junk. So I am just gonna mention that I use Pure Encapsulations. Okay, that is an amazing brand. Um, I know there's many out on the shelves, but Pure is one that I use. I'm trying to think of the other names that I love. Um, 
That's the biggest one. So I'm going to say that if you're not sure, you can talk to your doctor, but just make sure it's a high quality without a lot of um, junk ingredients. ingredients. I don't want you to have any magnesium stearate or any gums or any um, sugar that's in the added ingredients, okay? So please be mindful of what kind of vitamin D you take because it really does matter. All right, so with that said, if you do those three things, start adding more fun and joy, working a little bit less instead of jamming yourself in, eating more fresh organic vegetables, and number three, adding some high quality vitamin D while the sun is not out and we're not out in the sun and we're having low levels of vitamin D, you will absolutely feel more productive. Promise, promise, promise. And as always, I'd be remiss if I didn't say if you like my videos and you find them super helpful for what you have going on, if you would kindly um, subscribe to my videos, I would be most appreciative. All right, I will uh, talk to you again soon.